welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have a video on um, our updated homeschool room. Now, um, I did a video earlier um, when we first moved here, but I've done a lot of purging of um, a bunch of stuff we didn't need and um, kind of rearranging things. And plus we've got... Um, you know, this year I had two kids in school. Next year I'm going to have two kids and a preschooler. And so we've been changing stuff around. And um, I had a request, too, for an updated video of our schoolroom. So this is that video. So stay tuned and um, stay with me till the end of the video because I have a little something extra, a surprise for my subscribers at the end of the video. So stay tuned. All right, so this is our homeschool room. This is a, a small fourth bedroom in our house that we did not need. Um, so we just decided to go ahead and use it for the homeschool room. Um, I'd actually told my daughter she had the option of having her own room and the boys could share a room, but she wanted to share with them. She didn't want to sleep by herself, so she's only five and a half, so I get it. So. I gladly <laughs> uh, repurpose this room into the homeschool room. So um, I'm here to kind of give you a walkthrough, let you look in everything that we've got going on here. Um, and so I'm guessing, let's see, we'll start right here on this wall. So all around the room, I've got artwork that we've done um, from our art lessons. I just kind of hang it up there. Eventually, I'm going to have my husband probably... Um, get like um almost like a clothesline uh probably not there maybe over on this wall since um the door is over on this side but um hanging up kind of like a line and then um putting clothes pins and then hanging the art that way because i can hang up their flat pictures here but some of the other three-dimensional things we make um like we've made some um like Native American headdresses and stuff. You can't really hang them on the wall. So eventually I'm gonna do something like that. Um, but we will start here. This is a dresser. This was actually my youngest dresser. And um, when we moved, he and his brother are now sharing a dresser. It's a, the, he's, we've got a bigger dresser and so there's three full-size drawers on each side. And um, that's kind of all they need for their clothes. Um, and so instead of throwing this out, I was like, you know what? I could repurpose that use that in the homeschool room because hello storage. So this over here is kind of our art center. So in here, this is just a Sterilite, um, plastic stackable, um, container thing. Got at Walmart. So in the top here, I've got dot mark. Sorry about that. I always get a phone call when I'm, I need to. I always get a phone call when I'm trying to make a video. I need to um, put it on Do Not Disturb. But anyway, dot markers, paint, paint brushes. There's some chalk markers back there. Watercolor paint. Um, I just, like I said, I just finished reorganizing everything. And this was one of the things that was just a complete mess. Since we had moved, I hadn't done anything with it. So I got rid of a lot of stuff and um, consolidated a lot of stuff. In this drawer we have, these are foam beads back here, googly eyes, sand, glitter, foam brushes. There's felt down here, sponges. I plan to cut these up and use them for painting. Um, this is uh, glue for different materials. I've got craft sticks. And let's see, anything else? I think that's it in that drawer. And then down here, pipe cleaners, yarn, twine, hemp, uh, curling ribbon. There's some, uh, what do you want to call it? Shaving cream back there, glue stick, or glue gun, glue sticks, all that good stuff. Over here, this is our um, kind of caught being good at school thing. They have um, little behavior charts for school. And a lot of this stuff, actually, I haven't even bought. It was either gifted to us or, like, I have friends that are like, hey, you want this? My kids don't like it. And I'm like, uh, yeah, because I'll put it in my little uh, reward bin, I guess is what you would call it. So, 
got stuff here. These need to be hung up. These are, we used, um, I bought these little canvases at Walmart. And uh, we painted with acrylic paint one day. And I need to hang them up. So over here I've got my manipulatives. There's some dominoes, Cuisinair rods. Here's my, um, what do you call it? Uh, CVC little blocks. Um, I showed those in another video. I bought those off of Etsy. I've got some, um, these are little glass bead counters, crayons in here. This is a little uh, math kit. It's kind of like a Montessori thing. Um, I bought that. I can't even remember where I purchased that a long time ago. This is Jupiter. <laughs> there are the other planets, um, which my children have... Uh, escaped downstairs with them but um, they're glow in the dark all of the planets are glow in the dark and they all have the little rings on the top so I'm gonna have my husband hang them up on the ceiling so we'll have a little solar system on the ceiling um, got some envelopes over here this right here is just office supplies staples um, note cards binder clips staplers See, tape, this is my kind of like adhesive drawer is what I'm calling it because there's glue dots in there and Velcro stuff and the 3M stuff and just random things. So we've got paper clips, hole punch, calculator, rubber bands. I kid you not, some of this stuff is so old. I had it like when I was in college and high school. So. <laughs> um, envelopes, return address labels. Down here we have post-it notes and all sorts of like little sticky notes and things like that. Um, just trying to pop out there. Just a bunch of little notepads and things. This is a personal financial calculator for dummies that my dad bought. Which actually it sounds kind of funny, or, you know, kind of like a joke, but it's actually pretty interesting. You can see I haven't even opened it yet, but basically, um, you know, if you want to calculate different payments or have goals to pay off certain debt. Um, it's kind of like a handy dandy thing. And let's see, oh, over on the top here, I have some of our little games, our little, this is our little, there's a bunch of them in there with your little music blocks, game, um, lacing cards, 10 on the spot game, and then this, these are our stacking owls inside the drawers okay let's see coloring books coloring crowns colored pencils sticker books that's for them to get in whenever they want to this over here is kind of my teacher reward drawer and um, i've got lots and lots of stickers lots and lots and lots and lots of stickers and erasers and stamps and bookmarks and my markers that hopefully the kids won't find and leave the caps off and dry out. This is just extra things if they need. We've got glue, glue sticks, pencils, um, scissors. I've got some extra like pins in here and uh, cotton pads. I can't really use those for an art project. But anyway, that's just kind of random stuff we might need during the day. Here we have all of our art supplies. So. Our acrylic paints and oil pastels and um, some kinetic sand, tie-dye kits, um, more acrylic paint. There's some paint brushes, um, compressed charcoal erasers. In here are the um, Crayola Color Wonder markers because they keep getting those mixed up with the regular markers. Over here we have puzzles, lots and lots and lots of puzzles this is another this is one of the things i downsize on we had a gozillion puzzles um actually some of them are over here that i'm taking to our uh, church for them to use with the younger kids this drawer is actually kind of empty right now i've got some extra like pencil cases and these little um storage cases that i got from the dollar tree i got these from a friend they're just these um silicone molds thought about making crayons with those or something but this drawer is really kind of not being utilized at the moment and then if i could move uh, this giant 
pile of stuff. I don't know if I can with one hand. It's not wanting to move. It's wanting to fall. Let's see. Okay, I got it. Here, flashcards. Literally just tons of flashcards. So, yeah. I, I don't need any more flashcards. Um, over here I have some, this says air dry clay. I have, this is a um, self-adhesive blackboard. Um, I guess material. You stick it on the wall. The only thing is, my dad got me this, and I'm like, oh, that's really awesome. The only thing is, our walls are textured. Every single wall is textured. You can see it. So it's not going to work on that. So I'm just kind of hanging on to it. I mean, we move all the time. I've got some, I think this is some more of that. And then there's some just chalkboard paper. These are, these are kind of neat. I found these. They are dry erase poster boards. So I thought we might use those sometime. Let me stand back up here. Sorry about the crazy jumping around of the camera. I've got some vowel posters here, some more artwork. It's my printer, paper, notebooks. These are great. It's a greeting card holder. I don't think, yeah, I don't have anything in any of those yet. Um, I just um, cleaned them all out. It's my arc punch, my laminator. Um, it's my beloved printer. I think I just showed you that, yeah. It's one of my newest purchases and I love it. Mainly because the last printer I had, I had for a really long time. So the fact that I can print wirelessly from my phone is fantastic, awesome. Down there, those are little like busy activities for my toddler right now when we're doing school. Okay, on to the next shelf. So we'll do the top here. Got some tangrams, the pieces are in here little shape sorter got like a million pens and pencils and whatnot Mag magnet kit here's some of our seedlings I planted a bunch of them already and um, our herbs didn't want to grow um, we had our vegetables and our flowers are fine but herbs did not want to grow so I had to replant them and I just did that a couple days ago so we'll see if they actually decide to grow um, I've got our, our little stringing beads with the, the cards on them, our money kit, our clock, and our globe. And then down here, man, this took me forever, but I'm actually kind of proud of it because it looks so much nicer than it did. So let me get down here on your level. So this drawer, this drawer, and this drawer, or cubby or whatever you call it, are all for my kids for next year. So this is for my um, preschooler stuff. Like these are like additional resources. Um, these aren't necessarily um, what we're gonna be using for curriculum because I've got the all about reading kit here, the pre-kit, but um, we're gonna, I'm gonna use um, some Abeka stuff with him but I'll have this for additional resources. I've got the Spectrum workbooks. I've got some, this is a little book on alphabet readers, file folder games. These are some books that somebody gave me, just little activities. Um, Bob books, this will be for my daughter who has done, um, she's kind of been doing pre-K-4 stuff this year, even though she, she turned five in December, so she was still four when we started. So next year she'll be doing K-5 stuff. I probably could have moved her up to first grade, but she's still having trouble um, with some of her um, phonetic sounds. And she's, she, it's not that she doesn't know them, but she'll, she forgets them. She'll know that, for instance, you makes the uh sound, but sometimes she forgets it and I want to make sure that she's got a really good solid foundation before I um, bump her up. Um, you know, part of me wants to be that mom where, you know, oh, my kids are so far ahead. They're, um, you know, they're, 
they're reading at, you know, they're four and they're reading at a sixth grade level and all this stuff. But, you know, I know that every kid is different and I want to make sure that she's comfortable. You know, it's not about me. It's about her and making sure that she's, um, you know, she's where she needs to be developmentally. Down here is some stuff. Well, I guess I, I didn't show you some of these. There's like alphabet cards, um, opposite cards, another activity game. Let's see, colors and shapes, first words, a reader, file folder games, some more Bob books. Um, down here for my son, who will be in second grade, we have a simple sentences, Kumon book. Um, there's some more activity books. Um, let's see, subtraction down there, time and money. Um, these are cute. I got them at the dollar spot. They were $3. They're just lined notebooks. They're blank. They just have lined paper in them. So these will be good for journaling for him. Over here we have our Bob books. Down here we have um, additional like readers. So I've got our all about reading readers that we've used in the past and the the sight word cards. This right here is a whole kit called Welcome to Reading by World Book. And then down here are a lot of our uh, early reader books, just all different um, levels. And so we just kind of pick out of there depending on what he's in the mood for reading. Over here I have some file folder games. And then these are, whoo, that sun is bright. My goodness. Sorry about the glare. It's like, it's like, okay, how do we, <laughs> how do we video and not blind our audience? Here we have, these are, um, my mind went blank, Magic School Bus Science Kits. Down here we have more science stuff. So we've got Usborne Science books like, full of activities. Um, let me see. I'm not doing a good job holding this camera. Sorry about that, guys. I'm like on the ground. <laughs> um, let's see. These are our Evan Moore um, science books. These are actually what we're using right now for science. Um, a few science kits, science books. Got some of these, um, those little beads you put in water and then they expand and all sorts of fun little additional resources. Down here we've got a ton of construction paper. Here are our Great Bible Adventure kits. This is our history cubby. So we've got our story of the world, which is what we're using next year. This is the book I'm using right now to plan out our year. And then I've got a bunch of um, additional like resources. This is my first little house. It's a little, a little prairie house. So it's, it's like a little house on the prairie, but it's for younger kids. Um, Sarah Morton's Day, a day in the life of a pilgrim girl, it's Benjamin Franklin. I mean, there's all sorts of, by the dawn's early light, the star, story of the Star Spangled Banner, the first Thanksgiving. I've got examples of, um, Confederate money in here. This is examples of the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. Up here, good grief, that sun. Let me see if I stand up, if it'll help. I can get the camera out of the way. Okay, so this is kind of our math cubby. We've got our flashcards, some Dollar Tree games. Um, this is a DVD called Peter Pig's Money Counter. It's a video or a computer game. For younger kids about money. Usborne Illustrated Math Dictionary, and then there's a bunch of like Target dollar manipulatives on math. Over here, I've kind of got my collection of old books. I think you guys, I've, I've made a video in the past, but I have a kind of a love relationship with old textbooks. And so um, my aunt has sent me some. I had some from when I was in school. My other aunt was a, has been a teacher forever. And so I got a bunch from her. So there's that. And then over here, the rest, well, sorry, down here I have, our health, um, this is our health cubby. So right now this is about um, healthy eating. Um, it's the, oh, what is it called? The, um, 
if I can remember. Here it is. Discover my plate. I actually got this for free, this kit online. Um, but it comes with posters and activity books and um, all sorts of stuff for the kids. And I've got posters at the Dollar Tree about the food groups and, and there's flashcards and stuff. And so um, when we, whenever I decide we're going to move on to doing a health unit, that's what we're, we'll start with um, is the kind of the healthy eating, the food pyramid. And the rest of the stuff is all my planner stuff. It's not really homeschool stuff. So I've got stamps and a ton of washi tape, stickers, and all sorts of good stuff. So let me stand up and try not to blind you with the sun. All right, over here we have our pledge, poster, numbers, the world, United States. We have our calendar center over there. So days of the week, months of the year, you know, weather, what day it was this week, calendar, all that good stuff. At the top, we have our alphabet over here, our DVD player. It's just my planner on top of it. Um, so these drawers aren't really organized in a specific way at this point. Um, next year when all three kids are doing school i will probably organize them a little bit better um but i'll just kind of right now i'm not necessarily using one or using them for the kids individually they're more just subject oriented so for instance the top drawer here is all of our social studies or not social studies, history material that we're using right now um let's see this um our social studies books that we're using next year which were it's the scott forsman we're doing the all together and then after we get through that the people and places so i've got the books and then i've got I get it out the workbooks and then up here i have the teacher's manuals for those and actually the books and the teacher's manuals were used the only thing I had to pay brand new or buy brand new were the workbooks, which were cheap and they're just, you know, easy to reproduce. So we're going to do that for social studies. Right now for social studies, we're just doing math work, geography, really. Um, science right now, which I need to move these over here. For science, we're doing your how your body works. So I've got that book and it's got everything we need in it. It just basically, there's a bunch of, I've showed you the one for water. There's a bunch of um, experiments per each, they call it a concept instead of a chapter. And uh, we just kind of pick and choose what works for us to do those. Right here we have our art drawer. Um, this is our music right now. We're doing music theory made easy for kids. And we also have my first music theory book. Um, also for music, I have our my first steps in music, which we're going to be using this a lot more next year. We didn't this year just because moving really kind of created, um, you know, it's you move when you have to with Army. You don't get a choice, but moving really threw a wrench in the works. Even though you plan for how things are going to go, it just, it never goes the way you planned. And so I've got all the, the books which are, there's like call and response, finger plays, songs with rhymes and beat rhythms, beginning plays and action songs. And I have um, CDs for all of them. So that's one of the things we're gonna do and I think um, will help by toddler um, is getting up and, and doing more movement with music. And I mean, even though my kids are a little bit older than some of that stuff they still enjoy getting up so the next thing is our reading drawers so our the curriculum we're using right now and then I have over here I have some additional resources for my older child so these I picked this up at Walmart $7.99 but it's it's really cute because it's um it's all of these readers but they're in big it's a big um large print and at the end of each one it shows or it has like little activities to do with the sight words and it's very colorful and so that's 
kind of cool. And then I've got these Scott Forsman Reading Street texts. And so we've been using those too. We kind of go back and forth on what we're going to use, just depending on his mood and what he's really into. Got our spelling in this one. So this is, we're doing a reason for spelling this year. It's our handwriting. Handwriting without tears. Let's see. Down at the bottom. This is my son's math. So we are just getting ready to move on to um, primary mathematics 1B. Um, I don't know if we'll finish it before the end of the school year. If not, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase 2A and 2B and we will just move on as we get to that point. And the last thing is my daughter's stuff and so it's got her math workbooks. And then I've got, I picked this one up at Costco. It's kindergarten adventure learning all in one. And so there's a bunch of different activities for them or for her to do. And then there's some additional manipulatives and stuff down there. So, and then up here besides um, the social studies teacher manuals, I have our great Bible adventures that we're doing at the moment. So right now we're studying miracles in the Bible. Um, here are all of our calendar pieces. Back there we've got our character cards, which we did last year. We haven't done them this year, but I may go ahead and redo them again next year. I didn't, um, I didn't want to kind of do them over again and then get bored and say, hey, we've already done these. And so I figured we'd wait a year and then do them over again. And so there's that. And then that's my new planner back there, which I'm super anxious to get into. Let's see, what else do we have? Over here is just some stuff we've done in class. And on our table um, are their pencil boxes. Now they have their own markers in their pencil boxes and it was causing a fight because when I bought the, car the markers for them, I thought it was the same colors, but apparently one pack was different. So they had different colors and one wanted the other color and the other one didn't want to share. And it was just this big fight. So I'm like, you know what? You're going to have your crayons and your pencils and your glue and your scissors and your erasers in your boxes. And we're going to have colored pencils thin markers and all the fat markers in the middle so everyone's gonna share and um it's actually the first day we've you or i've introduced that to them today and it went pretty well um you know you gotta kind of keep them from playing with the markers while we're trying to read or do other things but um yeah so that's kind of how i've decided to combat that issue um but yeah this is like I said, sorry about the quality of the uh, the camera, the filming. You know, if it was shaky or, you know, blinding because of the the sunlight. Sorry about that. I uh, I don't have a great camera right now to use for videotaping, and so I kind of just have to use what I got. But anyway, that's our that is our schoolroom. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, just post them. In the comment box below if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe because in just a moment i am going to um introduce a giveaway so stay tuned or stick around for that and i almost forgot to show you what's in our closet here i'm like oh i'm almost done i'm done nope i'm not done okay so up here there's my cricket those you're probably like why is there an egg carton those are our resurrection eggs um, all these games are some kiwi crates, um, puzzles, all sorts of games all the way in here. Um, down here, let's see, file cabinet, some different papers, binders, tack stuff, more art supplies, tissue paper, things like that. And then over on this side are all of our books. Um, I actually just purchased this metal rack um, on Amazon. I just typed in um, wire storage cubes and it came up. And it comes, all of these little wire squares are separate. And you have to put them together. But it was really easy. And 
Um, I like it because you can configure it in any way and you can add to it if you buy more. Um, but I needed something. I just had all these books stacked on the floor. I'm like, I really need something to kind of store or sort them in some way or just have them off the floor so that we can find books when we need to. So these are all of our basically, I've got like the heavier um, hardback books on the bottom, some Christmas stuff in there, regular just pa uh, paperback picture books. These are all our Bible uh, resources. I've got all our um, Usborne um, encyclopedias and other encyclopedias and resources, some more puzzles. And then over here, this crate has um, additional curriculum or resource Cur uh, curriculum resources for when the kids are a little bit older. Things I had that didn't want to get rid of necessarily because they're in good condition, but still not yet the age to use them. And I just have like a little floor desk. I actually have three of those, but my kids stole the other two and took them downstairs. So anyway, that is what's in the closet. Hey guys, so thanks for watching my video about um, our homeschool room setup. Um, it's... <laughs> You know, it's, it's one of those things where you just continue to work on it for it to fit you because one year it may work really well and then the next year it just, you know, things have to change. And so for right now, I'm really hoping that this setup will um, work for us the rest of this year and then for next year too. Um, because it took me, it took me about a week to really go through here. I went through everything, every single drawer, um, all of that to, um, to kind of go through things and, and get them cleaned up and the way I kind of wanted them to be. I know it's, it's not anywhere near minimalist, but I just, I realized I had so much stuff and I wasn't using a lot of it. And a lot of it was just junk or trash that could be thrown away. And so um, I'm excited to have kind of purged a lot of stuff out of our homeschool room and hopefully it'll, it'll flow a little bit better, you know, for me because it'll be more organized. And when things are more organized, I tend to be a lot calmer. And so hopefully <laughs> that'll help for our homeschool day. But so I told you that I had a surprise at the end of the video. I told you I was doing a giveaway. Now, I kind of wanted to wait and do a giveaway, my first giveaway for um, that 1,000 subscriber, but I've been really wanting to do a giveaway for a long time. And I'm like, you know what? Why not, you know, do more than like, I mean, I could do a giveaway now and then still do one when I reach 1,000 subscribers. So. I'm doing one now. Um, and it's not necessarily um, a homeschool giveaway, but um, as in a homeschool item, but it's a book and it's one of my favorite books that I read with my kids and it's one of my kids' favorite books too. And so what I have is a brand new copy of the Jesus Storybook Bible. And now, um, if you've watched my channel, you know that we're Christian. Like a lot of our material that we use um, for homeschool is Christian based. And, um, so I can't remember who it was that introduced us to this book, um, this version of the Bible, but I absolutely love it. And my kids love it mainly because, let me see if I can show you, the pictures are just absolutely beautiful, very detailed. The kids love it. And each story that they tell is not a super lengthy story. So this is the story is called The Terrible Lie. And so it's that page and that page. You got these two pages and then that page. And it's not a whole lot on each page. And the, the, the cool thing is the graphics kind of keep the kids like immersed and focused on the story while you're reading, even if some things are a little lengthy. Um, but I like that each story, because this is the Jesus Storybook Bible, each story um, kind of circles back around to Jesus. Even, even from the beginning of the Bible um, with Adam and Eve and um, the lie and the fall um, and 
first sin, it all, um, every single story um, in this book ties in to um, Jesus, his, you know, his birth and, and his um, death and resurrection. And it, you know, it, it talks about how this is God's great plan because he loves you so much. And it says it over and over and over again, how much he loves us. And he has this awesome plan for us. And so it's, it's really neat because, um, we know as adults in the Bible, um, you know, all of that is leading up to Jesus, but kids may not get that. And I just like, because this book is pretty detailed. It tells quite a bit for a children's uh, Bible. Um, but it, it does it in a way that's easy for them to understand and it's exciting and they really like it. And like I said, this is just one of our favorite. I mean, I could read this every night and then start over again and read it again and my kids wouldn't get bored with it. They absolutely love it. And so... What I need you to do, if you wish to enter the giveaway, is to be a subscriber, first of all. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And then to comment in the, um, the comment box below what your favorite Bible verse is. I was trying to think of what, you know, because some people are like, what are your favorite color? Or what's your favorite animal? But I figured it should be Bible related since I'm giving away a Bible. So what is your favorite Bible verse? So put that in the comment box. And I'm going to say I'll leave the giveaway open for about a week. So today is May 1st. So next Monday, I will post a video um, announcing the winner of the giveaway. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being great subscribers. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, April was crazy for us. We, um, we went on, well, I went on vacation without my kids. It was amazing. Um, I was gone and I was back and I was sick and the kids were sick. I mean, it was just crazy. So anyway, I'm glad to be back and I can't wait to give this away to someone. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.